Um, last thing we tackled was the pistons and the liner assemblies. So hopefully today we will get all six of them installed into the block. But before we get to that, I want to get there we go. I want to get that fuel pump timed um, since I've got the uh, timing cover off. I've got the timing cover off. Uh, I had to get it off so I could get the gear off of the pump so I could, well, my original plan was to paint the pump, but that kind of got nixed. So, but it works out because I'm going to go ahead and use this chance to go ahead and time it. I have, even though I don't have the pin in, I haven't moved it. Uh, it's at top dead center right now, but this is just a little bit retarded. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. Oh, come on. No light. I can see it by eye. Oh, you can barely see it. Um, well, you can just barely make out, or you can just barely see the flag. Uh, it's at the very, very top. It looks like a flat bar. Um, normally at top dead center, you would have that at, at the center of the hole, uh, pinned in with a... Uh, Nylon pin, I think. I think it's nylon. Anyways, my cap don't have it, so it don't matter. I'm going to end up uh, advancing it just a few degrees uh, so that it's pretty much right at the very bottom of the hole instead of the very top. Uh, one of the pump guys, one of the experienced older pump fellas, uh, told me about that trick. So I'm going to try that. See if that get rid gets rid of uh, the um, slight white smoke. It's not really white smoke, it's just diesel that's still unburnt. So I'm hoping that a little bit of advanced uh, timing will fix that. Anyways, that pin right there, <coughs> uh, same spot as it is on the 5.9, I don't know about the, I don't know about the 6.7, but it's the same one as the 5.9. Um, I got, I had that pinned in place, uh, in the camshaft, so it's at top dead center. I didn't move it. In fact, you can still see the timing marks are lined up. So it is at top dead center. I want to get this pump taken care of. Uh, rather retimed before I go dropping in the uh, pistons because that'll just make it all the more difficult to turn the motor. I mean, it's not like it's difficult anyways, but you know, less effort. It's kind of a good thing. <laughs> play it smart, play ahead. Um, timing cover. Even though it's already, or I had it off earlier so that I could, one, replace the gasket, or, hey, well, hello, where'd you go? Huh. Um, I had to replace the lack of a gasket, I should say. Uh, last time I leaked, I went ahead and put RTV on it, and it still ended up leaking anyway, so I went, and get, I went ahead and got a uh, new, Cummins, new Cummins gasket and I had to get a new seal for the front crank as well. Uh, new front seal for the crank. <clears throat> and I replaced that yesterday, uh, off camera, sorry. Wasn't all that hard though. Just beat it out with a freaking screwdriver and gently tap it back, gently tap the new one in place and then work the sleeve back in if you, uh, Pulled it out somehow or another with a plastic sleeve. I mean, it's in, it's an installation sleeve that makes it easier for putting it on the new or putting the new one on. 
on the uh, on the crank when you go to reinstall that timing cover. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get this timing cover taken care of and all six of the end cylinders and this timing cover done. Hopefully today. Still can't see that flag. Right. You're just gonna have to trust me that it's in the right spot now. Now I just gotta disconnect the uh, front gear or pulled off the front gear again. Yes, again. Um, and then retime and then retime the uh, crank. Now that I've got the pump in the place that I need it to be. Now's the time to start putting in the pistons. Journals are on. Oh, wait. Number one and number six, we're going to go in right now. Well, it's just number one and number six are in. 